for today's vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Very cheery mood today. Uh, today's topic is about Shivani Soroya and bringing credit to emerging markets. Uh, let's go to page two for the vocabulary. Number one, disperse. So when you disperse something, that's when you are giving something out. You're trying to distribute it or, or give it away. Uh, you try to, sometimes you try to give it out widely or equally. Um, so if you have an event and you print a lot of flyers, you're trying to disperse those flyers. You're trying to give them out. If you go to a networking event and you have a lot of business cards, you're trying to disperse your business cards to as many people as possible. Uh, now, there's also a way you can use disperse as a kind of expression. Let's say you go meet with your friends at a restaurant and you finish your food, you're just all kind of sitting there and talking for a long time. And it's getting late, the restaurant has to close. So they might say something, okay, I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, but we're going to close now. So what you would suggest to your friends is, let's disperse, let's get out of here. <clears throat> Number two, emerging market. An emerging market is basically a country that um, maybe it was pretty poorly developed, almost third world maybe, uh, and their economy was quite slow. And what happened was, there were, you know, they got a lot of investment and new industry and capital, and they're starting to see some economic growth and development. Uh, and uh, when that happens, they become an emerging market. Um, so maybe right now the best example of an emerging market is Vietnam because they've been seeing some, you know, the fastest growth, economic growth for the past two years because of their development. Number three, urge. So uh, urge is, is basically the root word to urgent or urgency. Uh, it's, it's basically you're trying to push somebody with a high priority, um, or you're trying to, to encourage somebody or motivate somebody or advocate something uh, with a very high priority. So, uh, for example, if you, or maybe you're trying to convince somebody, you know, uh, if you are talking to your friend and your friend says, oh, I've been feeling really sick lately and telling you all their symptoms, you might be urging your friend to go see a doctor. I urge you to go see a doctor, you know. Uh, or I urge you to take a day off and rest. Number four, bring something to the table. This is one of my favorite expressions uh, that's, that's used very often. If you are talking to a headhunter or a, uh, maybe an HR manager, their question to you might be, what do you bring to the table? What can you bring to the table? And it's basically what skills, what uh, experience, what knowledge, what kind of um, maybe workmanship, what do you offer uh, about you? You know, it can be things that you have on your resume, it can be things that you um, have from your experience. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, you might say back, this is what I bring to the table, I have this and this and this and this. Uh, if you are talking to maybe, um, may maybe there's a, a, a vendor or, or another company that they want to partner up with you and you're discussing it with your team. You know, this, this company, Company A, they want to do this with us uh, and this is what they bring to the table. They can, they can um, you know, bring us um, maybe more uh, quicker results very efficiently. And so you're, you're kind of describing what kind of positive things they can bring. Number five, uh, out on a limb is an expression to say that you're kind of taking a risk to support something. Uh, especially if it's something that people are not sure about. So that's why you're taking a risk. If, uh, for example, uh, we're having a meeting and there's a, there's a problem and you need a solution to this problem. Song says, oh, I, I, th I have a suggestion. I think we should do this. And most everybody in the meeting will say, oh, I don't know, that doesn't sound like a great idea. And then Young Suk will say, uh, actually, you know, I'm going to go on a limb and support Song. I, I want to see if that works. It might work. So she's taking a risk by supporting Song's idea. Uh, now, it doesn't have to be to risk 
uh, your reputation by supporting something. You can also risk your reputation or you can risk your pride by doing something. If you, if you have a friend that you haven't talked to in 10 years, 20 years or something, and then you want to reach out to them, say happy birthday or happy anniversary or congratulations for your baby or, or I'm sorry about this, then you go out on a limb. You still risk your pride. So there's basically when you go out on a limb, you do something that will risk your pride or your reputation. You can say go out on a limb, go on a limb. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, number six, the long haul. So when you're hauling something, that means like you're carrying something big and heavy for kind of a long time. You're transporting something. There's a kind of burden to it. Uh, it takes a lot of work. For the long haul is you are committed to doing something for a long time. So you're committed to a kind of like burden for a long time. Uh, so if you are hired into a company that's working on like, maybe they're working on a 10 year project. They're looking to hire people who are committed for the long haul, who will stay for a long time. Uh, sometimes we joke about marriage, you're in it for the long haul. Last, number seven, massive, huge. Thank you, bye.